His Highness Maharaja Sri Sadul Singhji Bahadur, 22nd of his line since the foundation of Bikaneer by Rao Bikaji and the state assembled in the Darbar Hall according to age-old custom to greet the ruler on his birthday. As His Highness arrived, the nobles in order of their rank walked up to the Gadi to present their nazas in token of fealty and gratitude. Acceptance of the gold coins offered is a mark of the ruler's approval awaited with anxiety. As each offering was handed over to an attendant, the noble before retiring dropped a coin in the man's hand. The nazar ceremony over, His Highness descended from the Gadi and left the Darbar Hall with its fine array of sands of the Rajput race, whose traditions of martial valor and chivalry go back to India's furthest past and are amongst the most glorious traditions in the world. And now the motor car for a modern touch in keeping with the tempo of one of India's most progressive states, inspecting a guard of honor in the presence of citizens and members of the state legislative assembly, the first to be set up in Rajputana, His Highness made a historic proclamation. It provides, as you will hear presently in His Highness's own words, for the automatic attainment, as speedily as possible, of responsible government by the people of Bikaneer. To my beloved people, from the day I was called upon by Providence to succeed my illustrious father of revered memory, the advancement of the welfare and prosperity of my beloved people in every sphere of life has been my sole aim and constant endeavor. My beloved people, your ancestors and mine together founded and built up this historic state. For very nearly 500 years, we have lived and worked together as a happy family. Together, we have shed our blood on many a field of battle to maintain it as an independent and sovereign state. Let us continue to strive hand in hand to maintain that proud tradition and to set an example before India of a happy and ordered political evolution. In concluding, I would only add that it is my constant prayer that the ruler and the people of Bikaner may as in the past remain united by indissoluble bonds of the closest mutual affection, trust, and confidence. The decisions which I have announced today will, I feel confident, further cement those ties. And I pray to the Almighty that under the new form of government, as I have envisaged here, this ancient and historic state of ours may be vouchsafed a future in keeping with its past glory to the ever-increasing happiness, contentment, and prosperity of my people. That speech made history. It was worthy of an enlightened ruler who has inherited great traditions from an illustrious father and a long line of ancestors wise in the art of government. No wonder, as His Highness left, his grateful subjects greeted him with loud cheers. That night, Bikaneer was a fairy city of lights and gaiety. Vast changes, His Highness said, are taking place in the country today. They have begun in Bikaneer. Wise rulers make wise nations. Bikaneer will play its part in the greater India now in the throes of rebirth. May it be a part worthy of its long and glorious past. From the glory that was in, to the greater glory that will be in. a brave parade of troops and decorated elephants led by the state band, gay carts and palanquins, Bikaneer's inhabitants in their holiday best gathered to celebrate with fitting pomp and...